following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Everybody loves somebody sometimes. I sure do feel good tonight. I got up early today at 7 o'clock this morning. My feet hit the floor right after my head. <laughs> that got Gene a little worried. Yeah, so I, I went down to the doctor's and he took an x-ray of my stomach. You should have seen it. My liver is thrown in all of it to camera. <laughs> I read that right? <laughs> Did I read it right? <laughs> I think you printed it wrong. <laughs> Then the doctor examined me, and he said, examine me as an ex, an ex examine, not examine. I, he said, the doctor said, I can't find anything wrong with you. It must be the drinking. So I, I went back when he sobered up. <laughs> it's a good joke, see? <laughs> well, uh, but I'm not worried. No, don't try to make up. But I'm not worried about my health. I came from a strong family. I got an uncle who goes out every night and drinks and carries on. And you know something? He's 90 years old, but he's got the body of a teenager. Yeah, they were married last week. <laughs> I don't you go away, because it's a nice fella to tell you all about my uncle and his body. I mean, my guest tonight. Yes. The Dean Martin Show, starring Don DeLuise, Bob Newhart, Guy Mark, Katerina Valenti, and Les Brown and his band of renown. What do you buy? Before we looked at each other in the same way, then can't remember well when the clothes you're wearing, that the clothes you wore, the smile you were smiling, you were smiling then, can't remember well when. Some things that happen for the first time seem to be happening again. And so it seems we've met before, laughed before, loved before. Some things that happen for the first time seem to be happening again. And so it seems we met before. He sings beautiful. Wayne Newton's trying to steal the blueprints of his tonsil. <laughs> well, I sure got a great show for you tonight. Dom Delaware is here, and you know how funny he is. But the poor guy, he's, he, wor he, he worried about his uncle back in Italy. Yeah, his uncle had an accident on the job yesterday. You see, his uncle's a glass blower, and yesterday he was blowing a picture window, and he inhaled. Now when he walks, everybody in town can hear him tinkle. <laughs> Okay, and uh, Mr. Bob Newhart is here. Now, Bob's a real pal of mine. Last week, he invited me down to his beautiful home on the ocean, and we did a little skin diving on the beach. 
But the cops came along and made us put on bathing suits. <laughs> I don't care who didn't like it, I like it. And the wonderful and talented Miss Catarina Valenti is here. And she's always so nice to me. Like today, she brought me a, a present. It's a, a beautiful necktie with a picture of a girl in a bikini on it. I put it on, but I think I tied the knot too tight because her navel popped up. <laughs> okay, now my next guest is truly an international favorite. She entertained the crowned heads of Europe. So you sit back and relax, and you're going to be crowned, I think. Now you're going to be treated like royalty. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful, lovely, adorable Miss Catarina Valenti.
the love in the rain Peter patters on the pain And we're full on A chance to walk away A dreamy afternoon A lovely peaceful afternoon No one can see us It's no fun with the sun around I get going when, when the sun goes down But I am with my baby That's when we kiss and kiss and kiss And then we kiss some more Don't ask how many times we kiss Who keeps score? Yeah! Your son is at up, up. Let your laughter come true. You stand up on your neck, be like two bright eggs. Keep your sunny side up. Whenever I feel a little low down, I do the same thing most of you do. I play one of Bob Newhart's albums, and that makes me feel a whole lot better. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. Bob Newhart. <laughs> Some of you may have seen an item a couple months ago about an unexploded shell that was found in London. It happens quite often over there. They were raising a building and they were digging down the foundation. They found this unexploded shell and they still have a, a bomb squad, an expert, courageous team of men, and they go out and they carefully defuse this bomb. It takes them like an hour to work off the cap. And they publish the pictures. It's always very exciting. But it got me to run, wondering what would ever happen if a non-courageous 
non-expert team of men were ever faced with a problem of defusing one of these bombs. So you're going to have to picture, if you will, uh, this is the, uh, the police uh, station of a small eastern coastal city, and the chief of police is sitting at his desk. Now, this is the only police department that has a prince's phone. <laughs> Hello, Lieutenant Stevenson here. Pat Patrolman Willard Hackmaster. Oh, he hello, Willard. Uh, Willard, you're supposed to call in every hour, you know. You've you found a shell on the beach. You, uh, you, you think that's unusual, uh, do you, Willard, finding a, a shell on a beach? <laughs> it, it, it isn't that kind of shell. Uh, what's the matter? Doesn't it uh, sound like the ocean when you hold it up to your ear, Willard? <laughs> Oh, oh, that kind of shell. Oh, it's probably a dud of some kind, Willard. I'll, I'll send some men out and they... Oh, is, is, is that right? Gee, I was, uh, I was sort of hoping that was your watch, uh, making that noise, Willard. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give it to you straight, Willard. You, uh, you, you got a live one there, Willard. <laughs> Willard? W Willard? W Willard, stop that whining. <laughs> Willard, you've got nothing to worry about. I got the manual right here in front of me. Now, you, you, you and I are gonna disarm that thing, Willard. Well, I'm, I'm not coming down there, no, Willard. I, I mean, I just, I can't leave. Don't, don't bring it in here, Willard, no. <laughs> w Willard, I, I have the manual right here in front of me. Now, now describe the thing to me. Yeah, it sounds like a torpedo of some kind, Willard. It's probably one of ours. Are, are there any markings on it? Ma made in Japan. <laughs> no, it still could be one of ours, uh, Willard. <laughs> Are, are there any numbers or any, anything like that on it, Willard? M? M114. L let me look that up, Willard. M? Uh-uh. No, uh, no, nothing. Nothing, Willard. <laughs> well, boy, you found a beauty there, Willard. <laughs> you know how powerful that thing is, Willard? Six city blocks, Willard. Huh? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean you call me back? There, there's a telephone booth seven blocks away. Willard... Well, Willard, I, I, I know this is dangerous, but, but if we can save one human life, that, that's the way you feel about it, eh, Willard? <laughs> well, Willard, I've got the manual right here in front of me. Now, we're, we're going to disarm that thing if it's the last... We're, we're going to disarm that thing, Willard. <laughs> yeah, now, according to the manual here, there, uh, there are four screws uh, that are holding on a plate toward the rear of the thing. You, you see the screws? Yeah, now, according to the, uh, the manual, uh, those screws should be carefully removed with an LZ-111 screwdriver with a, a plastic handle and a demagnetized head. You don't, you don't have one, huh, Willard? <laughs> well, uh, try, try a dime then, Willard. <laughs> yeah, you, you got it off, Willard? Uh, now, inside there, there's a sort of wheel. You, you see the wheel? Yeah, why don't you try uh, turning the wheel to the right, see, see what happens, Willard. Uh, uh, ticking a lot faster now, isn't it? All right, all right. Uh, turn it, turn it back, Willard. Uh, Willard, are, are you talking to somebody there? there? There's a kid there. Well, get the kid out of there, Willard. If, the, the kid says it's his. It, it's a toy torpedo. Let, let me talk to the kid, Willard. He, he ran down to the beach with it. You kept me on the phone here for ten minutes, Willard. What, what was that noise, Willard? The, the toy torpedo just sunk a fishing trawler. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, it's out of our hands. It's in the Coast Guards now, Willard. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> Take a solo. Well, they were something else. And so many of you wrote in and told us how you liked them. I want to bring them out again tonight. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, my girls. Here they are. <laughs> Walking on new 
grass Singing a new song The next town up the road Keeps calling me I'm warning you Don't fall in love with me Just a leaf caught in the playful breeze. I'll carry you a while, then I'll be moving on. Walking on, walking on new grass, singing a new song. Tomorrow there's no telling where I'll be. But I'll be walking on new grass, singing a new song. The next time. File your nails? I throw mine away. <laughs> oh, here's a. Here's a. We on? Here's a funny guy who's uh, fast becoming the Pied Piper of television. That's because he's got just about more followers than anybody I know. Mr. Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Sure, I'm in some park. Just a minute, I'll ask the guy in the next phone booth. Yeah. <laughs> it's warm. Warm day, yeah. yeah. You ain't gonna believe this, Harry, but there's a guy in the next booth and he's taking his clothes off. No, hey, not a drop. I swear, I didn't. Not one drop. I'm hurrying, madam. Trust me. You're... Look at that big S. <laughs> hey, he's got a big S on uh, the thing there. I think he's on his way to a love-in. Either that or his girl is double parked. It's a suicide, Harry. He's trying to hang himself. Yeah, he got a big S right on his shirt there. I'm coming, madam. Madam, I'm hit. Well, I'm going to gonna hang up, Harry. I want to find out where this cat buys his underwear. people like you, pal. Listen, wait a minute. You don't understand. Uh, you don't know who I am. Here, he'll tell you who I am. Sir, tell him, tell him who I am. Well, I don't know. He took his clothes off, then he grabbed that lady. No, there. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. because I'll be right back after the station with my wonderful guests, Miss Katharina Valenti and uh, Miss Dom DeLuise and Bob Newhart. And oh yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> a lot of bees. Beautiful man. I, I was going to uh, have something real different on the show tonight. 
We were, su were supposed to have a, a midget who dives 50 feet into a cup of tea. Unfortunately, at rehearsal today, he had an accident. Someone left a spoon in the cup. <laughs> The second half of the Dean Martin Show is brought to you by... part of the show because I get a chance to visit with the old timer here. Hello, old timer. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Poor Ken. Oh, yeah. Last last time he was in Las Vegas, he lost his shirt. He couldn't find his laundry ticket. I <laughs> <laughs> no from champagne. Beer alcohol. Doesn't thrill me at all. You, you sure those ain't Pat Boone's cards? What are you giving me? Those? <laughs> Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Jeannie's got the tape recorder on. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the couch and I'm gonna sing a song, but there's one thing wrong. That? Where's the couch? <laughs> and where's the other part of my lady? Should I open the thing? Hey, I'll take a chance. No! Remember the great words of Montezuma who said, will you stop that singing in the halls? <laughs> oh, you beautiful doll. You great big beautiful doll. Let me put my arms around you. I could never live without you. You beautiful doll, you great big beautiful doll. If you ever leave me, how my heart would ache. I want to hug you, but I fear you'd break. Oh, 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 you. Great big beautiful love. If you ever leave me, how my heart would break. I wanna hug you, cause my heart will ache. Oh, oh. Every major city in the United States has a problem with topless clubs, like New York or Chicago or Los Angeles. I think the craze really started here in Los Angeles. What usually happens is the city fathers will go down to one of these clubs for like uh, six or eight weeks, and they'll try to decide whether they're violating an ordinance or not. <laughs> and in Los Angeles, we not only have dinner topless clubs, they now have lunch in topless clubs and are going to start breakfast topless clubs. 
These are two guys who walk into a topless club, only they don't know that it's a topless club. Gee, this, this is a real nice place, Harry, you know? Yeah, sure. They must uh, have great food here. They, they do a heck of a luncheon business. They sure do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, hi, miss. Hi. Yes, I like a... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Look at the tablecloth, Harry. Don't stare at it, will you, please? Now, I like a... Uh... <laughs> I like a scotch on the rocks. Uh, water. Wa water. Uh, se seven up. It got, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Make that two seven ups in water. <laughs> Do you believe that, Harry? Did you see that? Boy, she must have been late for work. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we better get out of here. This, there's going to be a raid in this place, and there's no question about it. I'll tell you that. We better call the wives. Tell them we're here. Oh, all right. You, you got any change on you? <laughs> oh, hi, hi, Miss. Uh, you, uh, you, you have a pair of nickels. Uh, two, two nickels for a dime. I can be very suave if I want to. Now, here's another very talented guy. Fine actor, and he does just about the greatest impressions I've ever seen. Now, I know you'll agree with me when you see him, like right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Guy Marks. I guess almost all of us watch the late, late movies on television, and Dean is no exception. Because last night I was over at his house watching some old movies. Naturally, they were in black and white. At least they were coming through the set in black and white. But by the time they got through Dean's eyes, they were in living color. <laughs> One of the pictures was entitled How the West Was Really Won, starring Humphrey Bogart, Robert Mitchum, Gary Cooper, and guest starring Chief Pink Cloud. He took Pinner. Wano kataki, he told no 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 one kewaki katoti no tau, no tau. said that there's no towels in the men's room. Why don't you ask him if we can go through the past? when we get to smoke the pipe. <laughs> oh, 
tonight, I will. Nakasui Kanaksai Tsukahi to want to say. Want to say Cherikawa Kataksi Kataka. What did he say? <laughs> uh, well, he said he's a little annoyed with the white man because he's the only Indian that never made a motion picture. He says he has talent. <laughs> well, isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Okay, let's find out what he can do. <laughs> All right, I'll ask him. Kateksi Katekahawa. Kateksi Katekahawa. He's a singing Indian. <laughs> Maybe the best singer in all Muscalero territory. Ain't that wild? <laughs> well, you think that's just dandy. <laughs> well, now, by God, dang it, I wonder what he can sing. <laughs> well, wait a minute, and I'll ask him. Katexi wanna wanna. Taxi wanna wanna. You wanna? Are you darn right I wanna? All right, Chief, let's hear you sing. Fans of guns on your cousin or retort, me like you. Me deep in your gunny man, eh? La vache de Poi d'improvviso venivo dal vento rapido e incominciavo a volare nel cielo infinito. Thank <laughs> you. 
20 I sure want to thank all my wonderful guests, three of the most talented people in the world, Dom DeLuise, Bob Newhart, and Miss Katharina Valenti. I hope they'll all come back real soon. Next week, Eddie Alpert, George Burns, Janie G, and Florence Henderson. Meantime, you just keep all them cards and letters coming in, folks, and I appreciate them, and I read them all. Yeah, I take all them cards and letters, and I paste them up on my bathroom ceiling, and I read them while I gargle. <laughs> And this week, I sure want to thank that sweet little old lady who sent me them Mexican jumping beans. They sure come in handy, madam, real handy. Yes, I put them in my shoes, and they keep my feet from falling asleep. <laughs> so, uh, now, take care of yourselves till uh, we see you next week. Everybody loves somebody sometimes.